Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Yusuf, what year accounting student. Thank you, organizing committee, for allowing me to talk with talk in Wednesday with Welka. Right in this video, we share with you the power of gratitude in relation to Ramadan. I'm sure that you guys are aware that Ramadan is just around the corner. When we talk about Ramadan, what are in your minds? Uh, fasting, sahur, bazaar, taraweh. We lucky we can have another meal after taraweh, which called which in Malaysia it called more, more food than ibadah. <laughs> That's what I thought about Ramadan. Don't be like me, okay? Actually, Ramadan should be more than those things that I see before. Let's see what is actually the meaning of fasting in Ramadan. The definition of fasting in Ramadan that we familiar is to refrain from eating and drinking and anything that could void fasting, like having intimate relation from dawn until sunset with the intention. And of course, we need to have intention on Nia so that our way of fasting differentiate from other regions. Okay, that's definition of fasting. How about gratitude? Is there any definition for being grateful? Of course. In Arabic, we familiar with the word ashukru. In simple word, shukru is uh, to be grateful to Allah for all his blessing. Mark my words, blessing or nima that Allah give to us a lot. We can't even number them. Uh, there are three levels of expressing shukur. The first level is that we feel thankfulness and gratefulness in our hearts. Then we strengthen that thankfulness through our speech by saying Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. And the third level is when we prove by our deeds that we are truly thankful to God. Um, Allah says in His Quran, Karim, if you are grateful, I will certainly give you more. But if you are ungrateful, my punishment is severe. Surah Ibrahim, verse 7. Uh, let me bring you two situations. First situation, a girl opens her wardrobe and look into it. In that wardrobe, there are two dozen dresses. Red, yellow, orange, pink, and name it. All colors are hanging there. Sun suddenly, she says, I have nothing to wear for the class. What do I do now? I have nothing to do for the class. Oh, come on, you can have different dresses every day for two months. Oh my God, look at brothers. We are simple. We can have same clothes for two weeks. Two weeks. Huh. Just example, okay? No hard feeling. Uh, second situation, uh, a boy thinks his life miserable. He has an iPhone, gaming laptop, 1,000 to 2,000 monthly pocket money. But according to him, his life is miserable. Unable to focus in his study and then he think about if my friend can own Honda, why can't I? Everything is miserable. Come on brother, Honda is good. Adu Abu Hurairah radiyallahu anhu reported Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said look at those who stand at lower level than you but don't look at those who stand uh, at higher level than you for that is better suited that you do not undervalue Allah favor or undervalue Allah's favor when it comes to dunya we or world we things we should not compare our condition with the people who have better condition than us like, wow, he's got a big house. When can I get the same? But for Ukrawi mentors, we are encouraged to compete and compare our goods with pious Muslims. For example, that person's very kind. He donates his money and I should be like him. That is good. But make sure that there is no feeling of free or showing off in all good deeds that we do. In Ramadan, Allah makes all Muslim rich poor to fast. It's not like the rich will have uh, some privilege for fasting from dawn until noon only. Lunch hour, they can have lunch as usual. <laughs> That's only applicable for children only, okay? Only Muslim, all Muslim are same. Uh, they differentiate with the level of taqwa. 
um, that's all. Okay, uh, fasting teach us to feel how the poor feel when they have to eat poor. Okay, we usually you know many things that are readily available to us. There are incredible reasons to be grateful. Our family, friends, house, job, food, children, even the painful lesson that life teaches us, tremendously blessing to be grateful for. If you do ha- not have the same thing, just close your eyes and imagine one of blessing vanish- vanishing from your life. Seriously, how does it feel? This is exactly what you need to be thankful for every moment, every day. Allah says in his Al-Quran Karim and he has granted you all that you ask him for. If you try to count Allah bliss, you would never be able to number them. Indeed, humankind is truly unfair, totally grateful. Totally ungrateful. Sorry. Uh, I think um, that's all I can share. If there is any mistake from me in my speech, I'm very, very sorry. Uh, don't forget to give a comment to for my improvement. I hope that all of you, all of us can be prepared for Ramadan. That's all for me. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.